Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I thought I'd do something a little different and kind of just focus on hair. Um, in my, when I asked on Instagram what you guys wanted to see on YouTube next, a lot of you guys said that you guys miss my hair tutorials and want to see more hair videos. So I thought, what other perfect way to start off than by having a tutorial on my favorite hairstyle that I absolutely do every single time I attend a Hindu wedding. Um, it is the slick bun. And the reason I want to do this one is because a lot of the times when I'm getting ready for like a Tamil wedding or a Hindu wedding, I'm always in such a rush because I have clients prior to that, um, to having to be there and I don't have time to focus on my hair. And my hair is always my last like, like I don't really care about my hair. I will literally walk out looking like this if I had to. But um, ever since I figured out how to slick my hair down properly, I've always been going to this hairstyle. So I figured, why well, don't I show you guys because it's perfect and I think it's really quick. It doesn't take more than like five to 10 minutes. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is comb out your hair. This is actually my natural hair with no product in it. Um, I washed it about two days ago. Usually using, I think when you have like two day washed hair, it's perfect because um, like it just, there's a little bit of natural oils and it's easier to just slick down and like comb out. So um, yeah, I waited two days and now we can go ahead and just comb all of this out. And you wanna comb everything out because when you're slicking it down, you don't want any like bumps or anything like to be there. So when you comb it out, your hair becomes a lot smoother and it's just a lot easier to work with. I always hold my hair here like halfway and then I comb out the bottom. You never wanna just comb it from the root cause uh, that's what causes a lot of hair loss and whatnot. And it's a lot, it's, 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 you tug at it. So you don't wanna be tugging from the root, you know? So I relieve the tension by holding it here and then I just comb it all out. So go ahead and just comb everything. Okay, so that is my hair fully combed out. Yes, I do look kind of crazy, but what to do? My hair is naturally wavy slash curly, so this is what it looks like when I comb it out. The next thing is you want to figure out if you want to do a middle or a side part. For the purpose of today, I will do a middle part just in case some of you guys like wearing tikas or uchi patams. Um, so I will be doing a middle part, but there are days I don't like wearing uchi patams personally, so sometimes it depends on my mood, but sometimes I will do a side part. So I'll start on this side or I'll go straight to the middle. So you want to take a comb like such, and it has this really thin metal tail to it. This is really great because it um, helps me get the perfect line down the middle of my head. So I'm gonna go ahead, put my comb where I want my part to be, and I'm just gonna, and then you're gonna take one of your hands and you're just gonna split it. And hopefully that's in the middle. Um, I usually, it takes me like a couple of times to get it straight down the middle. So just play around with it, whatever you think looks good. So I don't like going all the way back. I stop around here. At the crown of my head, I'll stop because I'll, I'll, I'll start combing that part back like this. I don't want it to be split all the way down the middle. And for those of you guys that like, like to wear tikas and whatnot and you don't want your hair to be totally flat, you could definitely tease this part a bit and then comb it down so that when you're putting your tika in, there's something to, it kind of like holds on to something. I personally don't like wearing tikas, so I don't need to do that, nor do I have that problem. So that's that. Now it's my favorite part. So what I like to do is I like to grab some mousse. You can literally grab any mousse that works for you. I use the one that, um, I just use normal mousse. It's a horrible essence mousse. Uh, you can literally go to shoppers and get this, Walmart. You can use any mousse. And the reason I do this is so that your hair has a little bit of dampness. So I just pour it into my hand. This is like at the ends and I'm almost done this. And then I put it, and then what I'll do is I'll just put it all over. This really helps slick your hair down to like the T and it won't move. Cause sometimes I find when I'm not using product or mousse, my hair still moves and I don't like, even when there's like flyaways here, cause a lot of us have breakage and stuff. So you don't want that showing. So I just put that all over like so. 
And then I'll take my comb and I'll just run the mousse down a bit. This is going to be slicked down, so you want the entire top part of your head to be very sleek. So that's good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of gel. This is the L'Oreal Paris um, Styling Gel and it's in the whole three. You can get ones, if your hair is a little bit more stubborn or thicker, you can definitely get a gel that's um, hold four or five. I like working with hold three when it comes to gel. So, that, so yeah. And like obviously after this, I will have to wash my hair, but yeah. And you can also wear this for receptions. I like slicking my hair down just for fun, like when I'm going out with my friends and stuff. It's out of your face, it's, it's, it's just easy. It's, it's, a, it's not a lot of work. You don't have to keep touching your hair throughout the night. It's, yeah, it's nice. Especially if you switch it up to a side part. That's good too. Okay, so I'm just combing my hair out. This comb is so good. I just got it off Amazon. You can literally get these combs anywhere. Um, but it's so tight. I can feel it. Like when I'm pulling my hair, I can feel like how tight it is. So I love this comb to slick my hair down. It's great. So as you can see, there is no flyaways. Everything is very slicked down. And yeah, so now you want to grab um, a ponytail, so a hair tie, and you want to put your hair in a ponytail like this. So just take, you want to start with a tighter ponytail, uh, hair tie, sorry, I keep calling it a ponytail. You want to start with a tight hair tie so that your base is really secure. Sometimes you might want to put two hair ties. The reason I don't use two is because this hair tie, this hairstyle, if you're not used to it in the beginning, it can hurt your head So, because it's so tight. So I like to just use one and then make sure everything else just looks clean. So I'm just going to probably use this three times around my hair. That's that. But you don't want to just leave your hair like this. So what I like to do, and I mean it's still cute. So if I'm going out, I sometimes if my hair is curly, I will leave it like this. You could straighten your hair if you want to. You can curl it. You could do whatever you want with it. So for the purpose of this video, I will be braiding my hair and then putting it into a clean bun uh, because I do want to show you guys how I put my flowers in as well. So the next thing is you want to part your hair into three sections so you can braid it and three even sections. So I have one here, one here, and one here. So I'm just gonna turn this way. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I mean, if you guys want me to do a braiding video, I would love to do that because I love braiding as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and braid this really quickly. And you wanna braid back. Like you don't wanna bring your hair to the side and braid it. And the reason for that is because the braid then kind of moves to the side. You're moving your hair, your ponytail to the side. You don't want that. You want it to be dead center. So I'm just gonna, this is kind of like an arm workout, but you just pull back and you start braiding. So now that I'm at the bottom, you don't want to go in with a thick hair tie, so you want to get one of those small little elastic bands. This you can literally get from dollar, the dollar store or the hair styling stores, that they all sell them. So you literally just take it and you're going to tie it. And this could be another hairstyle. I know um, some of you guys might want to add a moody mite, so fake hair to it and make it a really long thick braid, which you can definitely do as well. Um, again, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you guys a slick bun. So I will be taking this and changing it into a bun, but I really like how this looks as well. So you can definitely do this and it's perfect for weddings as well because your hair is braided. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your braid, you're going to put your fingers like so, and you are going to wrap. So, and you want to wrap it so it doesn't, it's like this, because you don't want your hair to be like this. You don't want it to start poking out. You want it to all have one, like it, you want it to look like a clean braided bun. So just like that. And I like to use a hair tie to secure it because sometimes my hair is really thick. Ooh, look at that armpit sweat. Anyways, um, my hair is really thick. So sometimes even if I secure it with a bobby pin, 
it, it still kind of loosens and also you like it just and because I'm gonna be wearing flowers me wearing a hair tie won't show but if you aren't gonna be wearing a flower you might want to use a bunch of bobby pins and just help your hair stay in there so that's kind of how the hair looks in the back oh I found some of these fake red and orange flowers so I'll just put that in for this video um, you want to use again the open tail combs and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put it like so around the braid I like using a lot of flowers for these type of hairstyles I feel like there's something about um, jasmine flowers especially with um, buns it just looks really nice for Tamil weddings and I feel like it really pulls the look together so yeah so you're gonna wrap it around, you're gonna take an open tail bobby pin and wherever it finished, you're just gonna stick it right into the bun with the flowers. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some more. You can add more if you want, you can stop if you want there. You're just gonna secure that in. Um, you never want your bobby pins to show and I know it's hard doing this on yourself but you literally just have to put, like, put it in and just poke it through, you're not gonna see the bobby pin. And because it's going right into the hair, you're hardly gonna see them, so you should be okay. Now, what I like to do at the end of this is I'll grab a comb like this. I don't know the name of this, um, but you can literally get it at any hair supply store. That's where I got mine. Um, Sally's sells them too, I believe, so you can get them there. Um, and I'm just gonna take, and this really pulls the hair together. Like, it just really holds the hair together, so um, I like using this at the end just to like if there's any kinks in your hair I'll just use it to like pull it back so I'm just gonna start at the root and then I'm gonna pull back I don't know if you guys can see that but it makes a difference like my hair is pretty sleeked already but I think it makes a difference and so I'm just gonna do that all around my hair and wow that is it so that is how you achieve a very sleek braided bun for Hindu ceremonies and again you can I feel like there was like three different hairstyles in this one that I did you could leave it with your hair out in a ponytail I think it looks great like that and then curl your ponytail or straighten your ponytail that's a great reception look as well you can also just um, braid it and leave it braided um, or you can add what you might to that braid and make the braid really thick and long and if you have if you have naturally long thick hair then you don't need to add um, fake hair and then the third one is this beautiful braided bun and I think I the reason I love this is because you can wear really big earrings and don't have to worry about it getting hidden in your um, hair it's out of your face I know with Hindu ceremonies sometimes things can be crazy especially if you're a bridesmaid or if you're even if you're just attending like like it, it can get hot there's so many people in the hall like you don't want to be touching your hair you don't want to be um, you don't want it in your face and you also don't want to be waking up an hour and a half earlier than you need to to get your hair done and like I know for me like if I can just do this I'm good like I, I just need like 40 minutes on my makeup and I'm out the door so um, definitely try this out if this is something that you guys would like to do for any future weddings and like it's just so clean it just and I feel like it really gives you a facelift I feel like it, it's so tight and it's so clean that it just kind of like you know um so yeah that is my final look on this braided sleek bun okay guys and that's it from me as a very quick tutorial um let me know if you guys want to see me do makeup and hair tutorials more i guess i don't really do it for youtube just because I don't know, I enjoy making like the funny videos with my parents, with my significant other, but while we are being quarantined during this time, I would love to maybe do more makeup looks for you guys or hair tutorials for you guys, so let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely take a look and we'll probably respond to you as well. Um, and yeah, and I also just wanted to give a very big shout out uh, to everyone that's recently been following me. I really only started this journey this year and it's been going really great um i hit a thousand subscribers which doesn't seem like a lot but it is to me and i appreciate every single one of you guys and i appreciate the love and the likes and the just everything from you guys so um i definitely will be more consistent and i'm trying my best to put out content once a week um 
So yeah, I appreciate the love and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.